going to the NBA still go for you? Heck no. No, that's done, man. I got <laughs> that. That's done for me. You know, I had I had my chances, you know, five, four years ago, and even this past summer, I had some opportunities. But but for me, I enjoy my situation, man. I enjoy where where I am. I'm happy where I am, and you know, no no type of money or whatever is gonna change that. If they had like a cool out who's going at the NBA best ten as well. Uh huh. Do the best thing. How do you think you guys are fair against them? Well, you know what? With the NBA best, their run and jump higher. I could tell you that much. But it, it, in terms of the game, I think the European players are more advanced in the game and the knowledge of the game. You know, the NBA is so spaced out. You just need athletes that can run and jump. But you put them in a half court set and X and O's. A lot of those guys can't do that. So if it's an All Star game, you got to go with the NBA guys. But if it's a simulated game, I'll take my guys. What was it like for you coming coming to Europe from the States? What was the cultural transition? Transition like. You know what? It, it was it was a difficult one because for the first time leaving, I know you're leaving for that long. But I came into a, a, a great country and, and in Israel and a great city in Tel Aviv to where I didn't need to make such a big transition because everyone spoke English. It's great food. It, it's good weather. So my transition wasn't so hard as if I say I go to the middle of Eastern Europe or something like that. Why do you think it is that uh, in America, like it just seems that there's just very little care for European basketball. It's just so solely focus on the NBA because it's it's one of those things if if you know you got if, if you're in your hometown you know you got the best team in your own town and then you think about Europe and then you hear a name like Vasilius Spanoulis you'll probably think if he come in the park you could beat him you know so as Americans they don't care about they just worry about their little circle they don't care about anything else outside of there so these European players could go into the regular parks in, 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 in the States and no one will know who they are, and these are one of the greatest players that's playing in Europe. But they're so close-minded that it's strictly NBA, LeBron, Kobe, everything else is just out, out, out of sight, out of mind. Do you find that makes you a little bit underappreciated as a player? You know what? If you're looking for that home, if you want the whole parade and the whole thing like those guys get home, of course you'll feel unappreciated. But if you over here in Europe and you go to, to, to Nokia Arena and you see the love you get there, you don't care what people think. It actually makes it easier because people don't understand what you're doing abroad or, or how much some of these guys are making. So they could go back and live like great lives because no one knows what's going on with them. Do you think, uh, do you like it that much that after basketball, do you think you could see yourself retiring in Europe and staying in Europe long term? No, man. I'm, I'm from Brooklyn, man. I can't. I can't. I just can't do it. You know, I love Europe. I love all that. But at the end of the day, Brooklyn is where I need to be after this.